In this video, I show you how to record audio or a voiceover on DaVinci Resolve 18 and 17. If you're new to the channel, please go down below and consider subscribing to the channel. And once you've done that, please go down below and consider leaving a like as well. We really do appreciate it. And please watch this video right until the end and let's go and get straight into this. Here we are on DaVinci Resolve 18 and let's go and add a voiceover. So the first thing you need to do is make sure you've got a bit of media added and you're ready to go and do your voiceover and go and record it. So all you want to do is come to the bottom and then go and press on Fairlight at the bottom here. Then once you're on Fairlight, it's gonna go and take you to this section here. And what you want to do is come onto the left hand side and you want to just go and right click on Audio 1. And then you want to click on Add Track and then go and click on Stereo, just like so. And then it's gonna go and create this new track here called Audio 2. Um, you can go and click on it to rename this and I'm gonna name this VoiceOver um, just so I can sort of see uh, which is the right track for when I'm recording. I'm just going to hit enter so it goes and saves it. Then once you've done that, all you want to do is come onto the right hand side where you've got the mixer. And then what you need to do is look for A2. It's still called A2 because as you can see, voiceover is A2. Then look for it here. Then all you want to do is go and look for input and currently says no input. So you go and click on it just like so. And then all you want to do is go and press input with the three dots just here. And then it's going to go and bring this up here. Then as you can see on this left hand side here, this is all your sources. So we've got microphone one and microphone two. I'm going to use the one um, to go and click on it. Then on the right hand side, it's going to automatically have the voiceover channel selected. As you can see, it's voiceover L and voiceover R because left and right and um, mono has both of them basically. Then once you've gone and select your microphone and the right destination, then you want to go and click on patch and it's now patched it. Then you need to go and press on the cross up here to close off of this. So now you've got to link the microphone to the voiceover channel. Then what you need to do is come back over here to your channels and you need to go and click on the R button, which is called arm for record. Now what this is actually going to do is it's going to go and play your voice back to you. Um, so if you're wearing headphones, you're going to hear your voice back. So if I go and click on it, as you can see, you can now hear when I'm talking. So now you want to make sure that's turned on. And then when you're ready to go and record, go and press on the record button in the top just here. So I go and click record. And as you can see, you can now see I'm recording my voice. This is an example um, test one, two, three. Then once you're finished recording, all you need to do is go and press on the stop button up here. And then once you've done that, you can then go and press on the R and turn off the arm for record, just like so. And there we go, that is your voice over there. And then you can go and change the location of it as well by moving it so you can have it for wherever you want it to be. And then on the right hand side, you can go and click on it just like so. And, and then you can go and press on here and you can go and add any effects you want. Personally, this sounds absolutely fine for me. And uh, I can go and use it and continue editing. Then you can come back to say cut or fusion. And let's come back to cut. And then as you can see here is a voiceover and I can go and continue to go and move it to wherever I'd like. I hope you did find this video useful. If you did, please go down below and consider leaving a like. Subscribe for more. Peace.